So today I'm going to be reviewing a Cydia app called Swipe Dock. Basically what Swipe Dock is, is you can hide your dock whenever you want. You simply swipe down and then bring it back up just by swiping up, just like that. And this app originally cost a dollar in the Cydia store, but I also have a, a tutorial on how to get it for free, so check that out in the description. And let me go ahead and show you this feature Swipe Dock has with it. So right here in the settings you can enable it or disable it whenever you want and you can also change the animations to how you want your dock to go away so one of my favorites is rotate and zoom in so I'm going to show you as you can see it rotated and zoomed in and let me go ahead and show you different kind of animations you can add to it and I swipe down and then it went, it went to the left just like that Alright, and animation duration is basically how fast you want the animation to go by. So I'm going to go ahead and have it the highest. And as you can see, it takes a fairly long time. So I'd like to keep it at 0 0.5. It seems just right, right there. And fade while animating. If you want your animation to go away. Or you want it to fade as it goes away as well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and show you guys. Alright, there you don't have it fading anymore. And add a row is basically uh, how you have a whole bunch of room right here. It, will, it usually doesn't look like this. But let me go ahead and show you how, how it would look without, uh, without the row. Alright, if you add another row, your iDevice is going to have to respring. So, as you can see, I have much more space right here in the bottom. And I can still use a feature to hide my dock as well. And let me go ahead and show you more settings you can do with this app. You can also hide the page dots, which is a little uh, dots right Let me go ahead and show real quick right now. Page dots are are uh, the indication on how many pages you have worth of applications. So let me go ahead and hide it. As you can see, it's not there. Right there in the bottom, there should usually be the number of pages you have on your iDevice filled with applications. So I have that hiding right now. I don't really care about that, but it's pretty nice. You can customize the way you want it. And you can also activate... Uh, the swiping, uh, you can change that. You won't have to be swiping all the time. You can have it differently with the City app act, um, act, activator. So I usually like it like that. Swiping down doesn't really matter. It actually works out pretty well. And you can also have the number of fingers to swipe. You can uh, hide your dock with uh, two fingers going down. Hold on, I accidentally went to another page. So just slide down with two fingers and you can bring it back up like that. So basically in case you do with one mistake, in case you're trying to fling it down here, it won't work. So it just basically ensures you that you're not trying to do a mistake or something. So if you guys would like to, again, if you guys would like to find out how to download this app, the link will be in the description. Check that out. And if you guys would like to get this City a tweak for free. Go ahead and, and check out the description below as well. If you guys found this helpful, go ahead and rate the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more City of Tweaks.